Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 18th, 2021. Well, yesterday probably left uh, quite a few traders a bit shell-shocked, wondering what comes next as this volatility ramps up after we received some really disappointing uh, data on retail sales. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we may want to approach the market for today in the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. I know yesterday probably had a lot of people um, in some pain, um, particularly those who did a lot of buying into this big rally, this big surge uh, the day before, and then getting that ugly, ugly overnight reversal. As I told you guys yesterday, I just really didn't do much trading yesterday because I didn't really trust the price action in the chart. That proved to be very profitable for me yesterday with all of my hedged uh, positions um, really paying off and I cashed them in yesterday making some nice gains but I understand how painful this can be because boy I've been there before many many times um, and uh, pressing a little bit too hard in a market that is starting to show um, a little bit of stress now having said all of that when you look at this chart, even after that wild move yesterday, we dropped 500 points in the Dow and then rallied back significantly. If we look at this chart, really no technical damage has been done. And that's one of the dangers of this market right now. We are so extended in, in these price action moves that um, even a candle like yesterday creates an awful lot of pain in a person's portfolio yet at the same time doesn't break the overall trend. So if we take a look at this chart, overall trend it remains bullish here in the diamonds. And we held on to this price support yesterday after kind of an ugly, ugly sell-off pushing down into that level. Now I have to tell you that even though we saw a bullish response to that support level, we still have to recognize the mounting data that's starting to come in, inflation data, consumer confidence hitting extreme lows, or consumer, uh, or consumer sentiment, I mean. Our consumer sentiment number hit a 2011 uh, low. Um, um, remember, September 2011, our... <laughs> We're down there in our consumer sentiment. Our inflation is rising at 5.4%. Our retail sales are falling. Um, mounting data here is coming in that there is some problems here in the market. So I want to caution everyone, although we left behind a bullish hammer pattern here and our charts remain bullish, there is still that concern out there that maybe some of this mounting data could start to have a little bit more effect. Now we woke up those bears yesterday and um, they're hungry because they haven't been able to eat for some time. So watch that closely. Um, anything is possible here. We can certainly get a follow through. Now, please remember a bullish hammer requires a bullish follow through to be valid. So we need those bulls to push on through. That puts in a nice bullish pattern, continues this upside trend. However, as you can see this morning, we're looking just a little bit lower on that um, open here in the Dow. So keep a close eye on that, kind of an interesting challenge here in this chart. And we have the housing data coming out before the bell that could certainly change that appearance pretty quickly. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Also pretty ugly sell off yesterday, but the rally back gives us that impression that, hey, nothing happened here at all. Certainly that was probably a painful sell off for a lot of folks. Bouncing back, however, gives us that impression that we should rush in and buy the dip. Well, 
that certainly could be the case. Certainly could be the case if we can find that inspiration today to move on through and follow through and make this bullish hammer into a bullish pattern. We need that follow through to the upside. The question remains with these mounting data points, uh, will we be able to push on through or will those bears start to sharpen up their teeth a little bit and act a little bit more aggressively? It's hard to say here just yet, but watch that closely. Now, having said all of that, I have to, I have to say, upside trend remains intact here in the SPY. So although that was a pretty rough day yesterday, there's no technical damage here in the SPY chart, although there is some questions that may have shaken investor confidence significantly, and that can change things a little bit. So watch this carefully and closely. A little bit of challenge in here, and let's keep in mind we have some data today that could certainly move us around quite a bit. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ, this one is a little more challenging, a little bit more perplexing. Um, we we did see big tech try to push up earlier in the day, but then ultimately kind of succumb to some selling, but we didn't really break down. We held on here in price support. Now let's keep in mind what we've done here in the NASDAQ is we have built a tremendous platform here. Now this platform could be bullish. It could be that bullish move where we get enough inspiration in here that we pop from that and we continue to move in this upside trend. It's also entirely possible that we can break from this level here and break down. So keep a close eye on big tech. Remember, big tech has been a, a major driver um, in this recent rally in the market. And if big tech cannot continue to hold, if it, if it starts to slide, if it starts to pull back a little bit, then we could have some problems. Now you do have a little bit of hope that you can hang your hat on here for today, because after the bell, we will hear from um, Cisco. Cisco will report, and we'll also hear from NVIDIA. So there may be enough of those larger tech companies reporting to provide some inspiration if they report well. Let's watch that closely and see if they can push on through. But let's keep in mind that this tight con this consolidation um, has a, uh, I said tight and I didn't mean to say that, has a fairly wide range of move in here that can make this pretty darn challenging. So be careful here. There's certainly that possibility. It's, I think it's probably about a 50-50 shot. We break out of the Brett top or we fail through that support level. So watch that pretty closely. Then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM um, made no bones about it yesterday and I've been saying this for a while that I suspected that IWM would test its 200 day moving average. And although we didn't quite make it there yesterday, I'm going to call that a win on my part, um, specifically because I was holding puts on IWM and that worked out very good. Now, we didn't quite get all the way down there to that 200 day moving average, but pretty darn close. Now, we have a bearish pattern here in the um, IWM. This is not a good sign for the market. Now, hammering yesterday was awesome. We need to get a follow through, but let's keep in mind, any rally back could run into quite a few levels of price resistance areas in this chart. And let's pay, make note that this is our first index that is showing that 50 day moving average starting to turn lower. So keep that in mind. IWM could be giving us a little bit of a leading clue of some trouble to come. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our VIX this morning. Now our VIX left us yesterday with a pullback here. We, sh we shot up pretty strongly. In fact, at one point in time, we were kind of threatening. We might break above that 20 handle in that chart, which happens to be a, a level that I'm kind of watching right around that 20 handle. If we break above that and hold up there, that would be a problem. But pulling back yesterday, that fear kind of dropped back out toward the end of the day as the market rallied up. But let's take a look at this. We still hold above our 50 day moving average. We have some price action support setting up in here. And you have to understand that yesterday's price action 
probably shook the confidence of a lot of folks. In fact, a lot of the buy the dip buyers the day prior probably had some substantial losses yesterday in their accounts. So confidence gets shaken a little bit on moves like this and it may take a little bit of time to recover that if we're going to get back to the bullish side. So watch that closely. Certainly we have elevated prices in the um, options and don't be too surprised if, see, if you start to see bid ass spreads really widen up in the mornings um, just as market makers trying to protect themselves from this volatility as well. So keep a close eye on that. If we take a look at our T2122, now our T2122 did its job yesterday. At one, at one uh, When we were down 500 points yesterday, the Dow, or I mean, when we, the Dow was down 500 points, the T2122 indicator was all the way down here, showing us that we had reached a short-term oversold condition. Now that rally back up certainly helped quite a bit, rallying us back up. What that means is at the close of the day, that if we find more bearish inspiration in here, we have left an opening for more downside here in the market. However, if we find that bullish inspiration, we've opened up a pretty good sized door to the upside. If we can find that bullish inspiration and get those buyers, those bulls back in the game and put those bears back to sleep. Let's watch that close. Then let's take a look at our T2101. I gotta tell you guys, this was disappointing. Even on such a, um, um, a bearish sell-off as we had yesterday, look at this market breadth. The market breadth did not really get a big increase. And one of the things I've mentioned, we don't want to see market breadth increasing on a bearish move. And the bearish move yesterday was really rather controlled. It was slow and grindy and, and a lot of whipsaw in it. But it wasn't, um, it wasn't a lot of fear and panic. Now, my question is, are we going to um, get a little market breath on a bullish move or are we going to see this sink back down if those bulls step back in? I don't know. Watch that closely. Um, there's a lot of weakness showing up here in that absolute breath. So be really, really careful here in the market. I'm not really sure how this plays out. And I think we should be watching carefully and maybe be a little bit hedged. If you are unsure, if you are an inexperienced trader, it might be a good idea to just be protecting that capital, sitting on your hands a little bit. Take that battery out of that mouse and make sure that you're protecting yourself because anything is really possible here and we could get that big snap either up or down. Let's take a look at our T2107 and this is kind of telling guys that um, as we remember Diamond Spy and QQQ are near record highs but notice that the stocks below their 200 day moving average continues to grow. We have more and more stocks moving below their 200 day moving average. So we're kind of reaching that imbalance point. If the big techs were to start to sell off, we could see this market move lower and move lower really quickly. However, if they hold up, we can continue to stay in this pattern and perhaps we can start dragging some of these stocks back to the upside. Watch that carefully though. Um, we have these, these um, data points that are starting to bend a little bit south. So watch that. Then let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has um, a few things that we want to be paying attention to um, this morning. First off, we have housing starts and permits. Now, housing starts and permits, consensus is suggesting a minor decline in those housing starts and, and permits. If we come in with just that minor decline, we could be in good shape. However, if we were to get a surprise decrease, kind of like we did in those retail sales yesterday, that could change things pretty quickly. We could see those bears um, re-engage here. So watch that closely if that were to come in as a negative number. If it comes in kind of as expected or better than expected, we could maybe see those bulls perk up and maybe get some follow through to that hammer pattern yesterday. We also have the petroleum status here today. Let's keep an eye on that. Oil prices this morning are trying to creep up a little bit. We need that 
that um, petroleum status number to come in showing declines in our supplies, that would help um, continue to uh, push those oil stocks up, helping to support the market. And then the Mac, the big day thing of the day, we've got the FOMC minutes. Now, I don't think there's a lot of talk out there about the Fed pushing toward a tapering of their easy money policies. I think it's unlikely that we learn anything new today in that FOMC, but with that threat out there, with that little bit of angst in the market, it it wouldn't be out of the question, guys. We get through these data points this morning, we get through some initial volatility to see that market just go flat and choppy as we wait for the FOMC. If we do happen to learn something new from these minutes, then we certainly could see some wild volatility right after the release of those minutes. So kind of keep that in mind. Maybe kind of an interesting day uh, to be trading. Um, just watch those data points carefully. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar, um, those numbers of earnings continue to drop. We have um, quite a few less and they're gonna continue to diminish as we move um, through this earnings season. Um, whoops, sorry, I brought the blog up again. We have um, about 35 companies reporting today and some of those have already reported. We've heard from um, Lowe's this morning. Lowe's reported well and it's trying to respond back. We um, It had a sympathy move yesterday with a Home Depot sell-off and um, it's trying to rally back this morning. Had good earnings report um, looking to the upside. However, at the same time, we had Target with a very strong earnings report, but not so much love here this morning in um, Target as we're starting to see those retail sales slip just a little bit. So a little bit of back and forth here this morning on those two reports. And then later this afternoon, we're gonna hear from Nvidia NVIDIA, there's been lots of anticipation here on NVIDIA, and particularly after their split um, of what may occur here. Notice that right now we have a little bit of a downtrend um, starting to show up here, and we have that bit of a lower high problem that's starting to occur here in this chart. It's going to be an important report here for NVIDIA whether or not we can push on through to the upside or if we happen to see some more selling coming in that could um, certainly affect that NASDAQ index. So watch that close. We're also going to hear from Cisco. Now Cisco I've been mentioning as being a very bullish pattern here overall. Nice upside trend looking good in here. This could be a very important report as well for Cisco, whether or not we push higher or if this breaks that trend and heads lower. So keep a close eye on that. We've got some data today that could move us around. Other than that, we have a few more that we wanna take uh, note of. We're gonna hear from uh, TJX today. Um, that another retailer out there. And we've got a few others like Eat, that will be reporting uh, PL, PLCE, Children's Place. And you can see we're getting some mixed results um, on these earnings reports today. So just kind of uh, watch these carefully. Now, if you want the full list of notables, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video pop back to the morning uh, blog and you can catch that full list. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a quick favor, um, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube, click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified when I post videos. Also, click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments. It helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just wanna say thanks so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. It, it means a lot to me. And once again, um, I wanna say thank you. Thank you to um, you folks that are supporting the channel with a buy me a coffee. Um, um, you guys are awesome, thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and let's keep in mind that 
Um, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security and we're going to have to be just a little bit careful on some of these trades. Now remember yesterday I kind of mentioned that we might want to start taking a look at some inverse ETFs like DRIP and DRIP certainly performed pretty well yesterday um, in that move. Now in the oil sector we have that oil data today the um, uh, petroleum status number coming out today but let's keep in mind that this is that rounded bottom breakout pattern we have that downtrend break we're holding up in here we're holding bullishly in this area and if we take a look at the rounded bottom breakout the ultimate target on an rvb is up here around the 200 day moving average we're not going to go there in a straight line but keep an eye on this inverse stock of drip if we happen to slip on some of those oil numbers again this could be moving higher um, let's take a look at stocks um, retail have been, has been pretty darn strong uh, take a look at Deckers. Deckers, I've been mentioning uh, yesterday, had a little bit of selling, but notice that it isn't a bad sell-off at all. As a matter of fact, the overall trend continues to stay very, very strong. So we need to find some inspiration in this chart to see if we can push on higher. Watch that one closely. Still has that opportunity to push back through to the upside. Keep an eye on DHI now. DHI slipped yesterday pretty hard. If we can find that bullish inspiration and get back above this level in here, then we could have some opportunity to the upside. But I would, uh, again, it's got to prove itself before this comes back into a potential upside trade. I got to mention Microsoft. Um, Microsoft, although we had that selling yesterday, Microsoft just held up here like a champ. Really no selling in here. And you can see in this bullish trend. Now, unfortunately, I, I know a lot of these stocks that are holding up well are very expensive stocks. And I get complaints from people. Man, all you do is show these real expensive stocks and well those are the stocks that are moving unfortunately and holding up and showing confidence microsoft holding up very very well you might want to keep an eye on that if we can find that bullish inspiration maybe with nvidia uh, report today uh, microsoft could certainly head on higher and I also have to mention Apple. Apple had a little bit of bobbling around here just a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with this chart. As you can see, holding in here in a bullish pattern in that opportunity that this could push on higher. Now keep in mind our trend, our trend is out here a little ways. And what that tells me generally is that this chart could still kind of chop around and slide sideways a bit. But you never know, we could find that bullish inspiration and get that move happening early um, in that chart and that could help lead the market higher. So keep, a, keep an eye on that. We also want to pay attention to these drug manufacturers that have just been doing incredibly well. Take a look at J&J. &J. Now I wouldn't want to chase J&J &J here, but one of the things that I do, and I repeat these things over and over and over in charts, is I just wait for the next entry. If the stock is trending, I'm going to wait for that rest or pullback, wait for that next entry into the trade. So J&J &J should be something on your list, keeping an eye on. Also Pfizer, Moderna, those have been really bullish charts. And last but not least today, as you guys know, I've been mentioning Kroger. Um, and Kroger made a big move yesterday as consumer defensive, I talked about this yesterday, consumer defensive stocks surge. When the market gets uncomfortable, consumer defensive stocks make their move. And we had a really nice move here in Kroger. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this again, drop that trend, wait for the next entry into this trade. Watch that carefully because I think there may be some more upside coming in this chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Hopefully it's not as wild and crazy as it was yesterday. Be safe. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. I wish you all the best in your trading today. Take care.